Well, here we are. Before I start, I lost my old cover up. And so I'm on my backup. That is why I'm scary goth girl today. I'm always scary goth girl. Well, I'm not an extra scary goth girl. I have black hair, uh, eyeliner, ridiculously dark makeup on a ridiculously pale face. Red jewelry. No, I don't know. Victorian agey clothes thingy. Well, anyways, you know, it's pretty good because I'm talking about style today. I guess because I've been criticized about my style, and to that. my mature, dignified answer to that. I'm not much for when people criticize the way I dress or the way I act. And uh, so I've gained a great joy in my very Scorpio way in accentuating things that they hate, because they're all the things that I love, and it works out wonderfully, because I'm assuming they love to hate, which is why they're haters, and I just love to aggravate them, and I love dressing this way. You know, first things first, I earned this body, it's still a work in progress. So, yeah, I'm going to show it off. When I shouldn't, and I can decide when that is. A big part of that, of course, is all body mods, something else people get weird about, which I can deal with. Well, I'm going to do it one day for a living, and that means I'm going to see a lot of people with body mods. I want to be in the body mod community more. I'm already part of the trans community and the geek community, so why not join join the body mod community? Are there other communities I'm part of? Yes, but maybe they're not family friendly, so we won't talk about that here. All right. Like I said, I very much enjoy showing off my body, and I very much enjoy altering it. I mean, not just what the hormones do, which is a lovely thing, uh, but you know, adding to myself, making changes, and piercings, tattoos. Who knows what other body mods I might do? I've even considered something called scarification, where they make small, like, uh, cuts in you, and then they put, you know, they put a substance in there. In the olden days, it was ash, and so you're a little more careful about it nowadays. And it does a very light scar in the shape of these cuts. And it's very beautiful, it's done right. So you have to go to a real expert in it. One day, I'm, I'm probably going to do that. I have a goddess symbol on the back of my neck. I love the goddess. And I think that'd be a wonderful way to honor her. Now, there's a lot of people who say, well, I don't want them. And I'll say, well, conveniently, you don't have to get them. You see, for me, well, I used to be a cutter. I uh, would be around the ankles. Or just... I mean, there's a couple small scars along here. I'm not like railway woman. I don't have a ladder covering my body. But you know, it's not always the best thing to do to yourself. So eventually, I came up. I'm messing with my hair here got a weird wing thing going on today that I'm not too fond of. There. So 
eventually I decided that I would get a piece of body art. Because body art, I won't damage. You know? And this was my, well, no, that was my first. And spider is my spirit animal. And that uh, was wonderful. And roughly one or two, maybe three, a year since then. I've been getting more. Right now I have 10 tattoos and like, I think eight piercings. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the, you can see it. Reese Industrial makes seven. So I guess you could count it as eight. Oh, of course. Eight. And that would be nine if I count both piercings and the industrial. And yes, very soon I'll be getting a second one in this year that I earned by Trace Artwork as a friend of mine. It is a wonderful way for me to uh, claim my own body. Now, obviously, I've done that with all these changes and the hormones, yada yada, trans, trans, trans. It's a lovely thing, by the way. And then by altering my body, I lay claim to something I've never laid claim to before. Every time I do it, it's the body I made. And I honor it that way. Very important to me. Let's see. Now, other things are fun with it. There's an endorphin rush, and that's incredible. When you're done, you feel amazing. And by the way, eat beforehand because otherwise, in the Captain Jack thing, that's no good. I am, like I said, obviously I'm playing some more, and that, along with this revealing style, has offended some people. And I'm not too concerned about that, though. One would argue, talking about it might be concerned. Meh. But what some people don't get is I earn all of these. I either trade it, I earn the money, it's something. And even a gift, I really think you earn gifts. You know, the universe is not going to give you something unless you know, you're putting the effort in to deserve it. I've been working very hard at that. And the universe has it. So, these uh, body mods are a way to claim this lovely flesh of mine for myself. And I can't wait for the day when I can, you know, take the machine and make something over somebody my art is part of another human being for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. I don't know why talking makes me yawn. Yeah. And that's that. It's just a thought I was thinking about my body mods and my style and how things are changing that way. And with all these changes, who knows? Maybe next time I will, I don't know, be in a suit made of tinfoil or something in order to keep the uh, mind rays from taking me over. Since they did already, it would be kind of a neat point. Alright. I love you all. Bye.